Hello, you're welcome. Here, yeah, let's solve this nice algebra problem. And uh, we are finding the value of a and b. Here, a and b are member of natural number. So, from here, let's write this using difference of two squares. Then we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. From here, is equals to 15. Then, when we separate 15 from here, we can write 15 as. 15 times 1, we can equally write it as 5 times 3. Now, it's important here to note that a plus b will be greater than a minus b. So, since we have a plus b greater than a minus b, then it implies from here that 15 b for a plus b which is greater than 1 which is a minus b and also for the second case 5 b for this which is greater than 3 so now when we separate this and then we equate we can say that for the first category we have a plus b equals to 15 and then a minus b is equals to 1 then for the second category, we can say we have a plus b equals to 5 and a minus b equals to 3. Now when we solve this side, we can add these two equations and eliminate b. We have a plus a, that's 2a, it will be equals to 15 plus 1, that's 16. Divide both sides by 2 from here, then we get a. To cancel to we have a equals to we have 8 here then we can use one of the equations and we say a plus b from here is 15 then that means a which is 8 plus b now is 15 then when we solve here we have b will be equals to 15 minus 8 and 15 minus 8 they give us 7 so we have b equals to 7 then we can write a from our b from here give us 8 from our 7 and also from the second category we can also add these two equations and we have here 2a equals to 8 divide both sides by 2 as well so we have 2 cancel 2 we have a here equals to 4 also use one of the equation we have a plus b is equals to 5 a is 4 plus b equals to 5 we have taking 4 there we have b equals to 5 minus 4 and from here we have b equals to 1 so we can say a comma b from here equals to 4 comma 1 then in the next step we can check if this satisfies the given problem we are given a square minus b square equals to 15 then for a to be 8 we have 8 square minus b that's 7 square is e equals to 15 from here then 8 square same thing as 64 8 times 8 then minus 49 7 times 7 is e equals to 15 from here then what we see from here we have this as 15 which is equal to 15. So left hand side equals to the right hand side. It implies that this particular solution satisfies the given problem. Now also we can check from this side and then we have a square minus b square equals to 15. So here a is 4. We have 4 square minus 1 square equals to 15. So this gives us 16 minus 1 equals to 15. Of course, 16 minus 1 is 15, which is equal to 15. Also, left hand side equals to right hand side. We can confirm and we can conclude from here that also a comma b is 4 comma 1 from here. And we have come to the end of this unique problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, turn the notification bell on. And see you. See you next class and bye for now.